G'day guys, how's it going? My name is CJ. We live in an age where almost everyone has easy access to great video recording capabilities. Whether it's in 4K, 1080p, chances are the quality is going to be pretty decent. You've probably all seen the shot on iPhones or the shot on Galaxy ads. They're all required additional equipment in order to get these impressive shots. Most of the time, this equipment would be pretty expensive to acquire and develop, often more than the phone itself. You've got a customer targeted option at the DJI Osmo Mobile, but that's still going to fetch up to 500 Australian dollars and upwards of 300 US dollars. So there really wasn't a great budget entry option until quite recently. What I've got today is the Ziyuan Smooth Q smartphone gimbal that the lovely guys at Gearbest sent to me. This is a budget oriented, three axis stabilizer, all in a package that costs between $150 to $200 depending on where you look. So is it cheap and cheerful? Well, let's have a look. Okay, to the people that have attention spans of about one minute, is this a good gimbal? Should you buy it? Two words, Yes. Now for those who are going to stick around, let's get down to the nitty gritty. So first off, the Smooth Q comes in a nice soft touch carrying case to protect the gimbal whilst you're on the go. But the soft touch surface on the case means that it's not exactly made of the most robust material. I took it on a day trip recently and honestly I just brushed it very lightly on some sandstone and it left quite a decent scuff. But then again, better scuffing the case than the gimbal, right? Moving on, the gimbal itself is constructed from a nice matte plastic that feels solid and weighs at about 450 grams. It's not too heavy in the hand. The gimbal arm rotates nice and smooth like butter and there's a pretty standard but solidly built control panel equipped with a joystick, mode button, power button and record and also a zoom switch where the zoom switch can actually double as a way to switch to the selfie camera whilst you're using the ZY Play app. What's underrated about this gimbal actually is that it's got a tripod screw mount on the bottom. So this will make your time lapse, vlogging or just general shooting a little more convenient. It also comes with a charging USB cable for what I think is one of the best features in this gimbal and that's its battery. It sports a non-removable 26,650 milliamp hour lithium ion battery. That's right, 26650, five digits. And that means you can get up to 12 hours of battery out of the gimbal, which is massive, especially when you compare it to its direct competitor, the DJI Osmo Mobile, where it contains, albeit a removable 900 milliamp hour battery, which gives you around three hours of shooting. Zuyun actually knows how massive this is as well and supplies a USB port which allows you to both charge and shoot at the same time. It's a useful feature but ergonomically I'm not that sure how it's really going to work whilst you're shooting. Unless of course you're an Instagram story star and you shoot primarily in vertical mode. Otherwise you could just use it like any other normal power bank and charge your phone whilst the gimbal's not actually being used. Then onto the subject of shooting video. The setup is straightforward enough, if a little bit finicky. The phone is held into place with a very strong mounting plate that sports a very strong spring mechanism. You're going to have to use your muscles to pry it open, but once you slip the phone in, thanks to the strong spring, you're going to rest assured that the phone is going to stay nice and secure and then there's no risk of it slipping out. So turning to the back, you'd be forgiven for thinking this rear dial is made to control the gripping mechanism. But in this case, the dial is actually there to allow you to switch between the horizontal orientation to a more vertical shooting orientation. The gimbal itself has a maximum payload of around 220 grams, which is plenty for all flagship smartphones. And most importantly, it can fit the iPhone 7 Plus, which is probably one of the porkiest phones out on the market today. So if you own any other sort of smartphone, chances are it'll probably fit. Once it's mounted on, it's gonna be really tempting to hit the power button and start shooting. But try to control yourself, take a breath, because you're gonna to want to pre-balance the phone before you start the gimbal. Otherwise, the gimbal won't calibrate properly and you're gonna end up with a limp mess like, like this, unless you're using a much smaller and lighter phone. Zuyun also state that doing this can actually help out with battery life since the mechanism won't actually have to work quite as hard to keep the phone balanced. And if you think about it, that kind of makes sense because you'd never carry an object 
with your arm stretched out all the way if you were able to hold it nice and stably right next to your torso. Otherwise your arm would just tire out fast as f So to balance it all you have to do is adjust the second dial on the arm. So instead of the one at the, at the back you have this one and that can actually adjust the length of the arm. Depending on how the phone falls you're going to want to make small little adjustments back and forth and before you know it you're going to have a nicely balanced phone. At least on the horizontal axis. Again, you can now hit the power button, but take one more second to balance the phone on the vertical axis as well. That way you're gonna be using this gimbal with the most optimal battery life. So once that's done, now you're good to go. Overall, this setting up process should only really take you less than a minute or two. It actually sounds more complicated than it actually is. In any case, by holding the red record button, which actually also doubles as a power button, the gimbal LED flashes and it springs to life. Straight away, if you've never used a gimbal before, chances are you're gonna spend the next five minutes waving it around like an idiot because you've never seen something so cool. But then once that initial awe passes, you're now ready to shoot super smooth cinematic video. So how does it perform? In a few words, it's pretty impressive. The SmoothQ connects to your phone via Bluetooth and you can use either the ZY Play app or your phone's native camera app. The ZY Play app gives you some pretty cool features such as the motion time-lapse feature where you can choose an A to B scene and there's also a pretty slow but still smooth object tracking feature. Otherwise, the Smooth Q does a really great job at stabilizing your footage to create some beautifully smooth video, especially at this budget price point. One thing to note though is that the plastic construction means that the gimbal itself is actually quite lightweight. Whilst on the surface that seems like a good thing, what it also means is you're gonna have to be quite careful if you're running and gunning because any heavy steps is gonna transmit up your body through the arm and into the gimbal and potentially could cause some shake. The next thing to be aware of is that if you're going to be using the ZY Play app to shoot, with phones that have optical image stabilization like the iPhone 7 and the 7 Plus, there tends to be this pervasive shakiness in the video and this issue is supposedly seen in the DJI Osmo as well. The issue supposedly stems from the actual mechanical design and the lack of any electronic compensation to counteract the natural movement of the floating element in phones that have optical image stabilization. So in these cases, you can actually end up getting better results if you use the phone's native camera app instead where it combines both optical image stabilization and also electronic image stabilization as well. But for phones that don't have optical image stabilization like the OnePlus 5 or the Pixel, the Zhiyun Play app is going to work really well. So overall we've got a cheap but still pretty solid gimbal that won't break the bank. It's a great option for people who want to up their smartphone videography game and when used well you can get some pretty great results. While some ZY app features still need a little bit of work like the object tracking, there are some pretty interesting and compelling features that come with this particular app such as the motion time-lapse mode, the automatic panorama modes and the massive battery in the Smooth Q is a big plus in my books and it can quite often save you in a pinch when you need a little bit of extra juice on the go. So should you buy the Smooth Q? Well if you're starting out doing videography or vlogging then my god yes. The SmoothQ is made of a decent quality with a bunch of really nice compelling features. And then at this price point, there really aren't that many competitors in this smartphone space. So if you're looking to pick one up, I've got some links in the description below and check it out. But what do you think? Do you own one of these? Do you own one of the DJI Osmo mobiles? Let me know in the comment section below. As always, if you enjoyed the video, give us a like. And if you haven't already, do consider subscribing. As always, thank you so much for watching this video and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Say good day to your mum for me. Cheers.
Black clothes of the